दीपिका जी दीपिका पन्नू बहुत बहुत बधाई मैनी कॉन्ग्रेचुलेशन फॉर योर पीएचडी एडमिशन विच इज स्कॉलरशिप एंड इन इन पॉलिटिकल साइंस व्हिच इज वेरी नाइस फील्ड ऑफ इंटरेस्ट आई रिमेंबर व्हेन वाज स्टडीइंग इन जेएनयू दे आई हैव सो मेनी फ्रेंड्स इन होल साइंस स्ट्रीम तो लेट्स हैव दिस डिस्कशन ओके Why don't you introduce yourself? आप कहा से आती हैं अपने बैकग्राउंड के बारे में इस बिगर इट सो माई नेम इज दीपिका पन्नू एंड आई हैव डन माई पोस्ट ग्रेजुएशन इन पोलिटिकल साइंस फ्रॉम पंजाब यूनिवर्सिटी चंडीगढ़ अपार्ट फ्रॉम दैट आई हैव ऑल्सो डन सर्टिफिकेट कोर्स इन जर्मन एंड लीडरशिप एंड आई बिलोंग टू करनाल हरियाणा एंड I have also, and currently I'll be doing my uh, PhD from Louisiana State University. So you that uh, you've been selected. Tell me about yes. your your. Uh, you did your BA right, BA of Arts from KU. What was your percentage and what was your area of study? Uh, for my bachelor's, I uh, did my ma- bachelor's from uh, Dayal Singh College. Yes. that is in karnal it is affiliated to kurukshetra university uh, that is in kurukshetra uh, my subjects were political science history uh, english and uh, hindi and we also studied basic computer science and environmental studies uh, i got a score of 65.71% and you finished your ba in which year i finished it in 2017 27 and tell me then you did i think a course of certificate course in governance and leadership tell me about it yes sorry tell me about Did your you master did... masters program okay so after that i took my masters uh, in political science okay i, I did it jab university department of political science uh, in chandigarh and uh, we studied international relations and comparative politics indian politics western political thought and indian political thought with foreign policy and other subjects i got a score of uh, 70.81% in that uh, simultaneously i also pursued the certificate course in leadership and governance so aapne kab khatam kiya when you finished your masters i finished my masters in 2019 and uh, i started in 2019 and finished it in uh, 2021 And so there is two year gap, right? Seventeen and and nineteen. Yes. What you did in between? Uh, in between, I was uh, preparing for the various exams. I prepared for AFCAT and uh, UPSC. UPSC, okay, yeah, yeah. I know. I mean, the field of interest you have. People were yes, going for UPSC. So, for two thousand and twenty, masters. After that, what have you pursued? After masters, I uh, took up a certificate course in German language. Okay. Uh, it was uh, finished in twenty twenty two from Punjab University, Chandigarh only, and I got a score of uh, I guess seventy eighty percent over eighty percent. Why you did this uh, German course? What was your motivation behind it? I wanted to learn a new language apart from the Indian languages that we generally speak here. Okay. So looked up, and uh, I thought that German was uh, like uh, slightly uh, easier, and uh, it can be a great head start in learning a foreign language. Okay. Nice. So why you studied? Let me ask this question. Uh, Paul says. Uh, uh, during my uh, like when i started graduation it was the period of uh, the shift from the upa uh, in upa to nda government and uh, after that uh, we saw a steep rise in the bjp's uh, popularity and how the scene unfolded in our uh, country's politics oh. so uh, it's that's a great interest in further continuing my uh, studies in political science also i had teacher who also encouraged you nice. in the same so since you are preparing for various kind of examination and government examinations yes. 
how you came up or how you, you, you motivated yourself for PhD program? What, what clicked you? So after the uh, gap in my education and uh, I thought about continuing my education because that was where my interest lie. So uh, I thought that it is, a, it is better to pursue a PhD because uh, it can also help me in career development mm -hmm. in uh, politics only. Uh, so I wanted to be an assistant professor uh, down the lane. So uh, I think uh, that was... And okay, so you are thinking, well, let's, I'm gonna do PhD uh, from the US and in your stream of field full science is quite interesting anyways. So yes. uh, how did you like, how did you find us uh, to, to begin our mentorship? Um, I was uh, considering uh, pursuing my PhD from abroad. So I was in talks with uh, some friends and some uh, and my father's friend suggested that uh, there is uh, Dr. Parmar sir mm -hmm. and uh, can help you and guide you, guide you because uh, they knew uh, you from other people, other sources. So uh, they, uh, with their help, I tried to contact you and then you helped me out. Okay, okay. So it, it is an online platform, right? There is some, some yes. kind of... You trust issue. Why you trusted us? Is because of some someone recommendation? <laughs> yes, because uh, there are a lot of online platforms, mm -hmm. of course. But uh, if it is uh, tested earlier, so uh, there is a trust gain. So you have gained trust previously from other people. So that really <laughs> that makes things easier, I would say. Yes, right. So, this is master's. I have a lot of experience in the master's. So, uh, Sir, I have a lot of experience in the master's. Sir, in our university, we were supposed to submit uh, term papers every uh, semester for all the subjects. But uh, mainly uh, in my second year of master's, uh, we were uh, like give, not given uh, questions or assignments, but we were uh, supposed to make uh, like proposals and research papers and term papers properly. Okay. So uh, I was, uh, I had a mean interest in comparative politics and I selected that uh, this I'll do. And uh, for that, I took up the modernity and women in okay. India. Mm -hmm. Because modernity subject that was studied uh, previously in Western countries and uh, but it does not have a great impact, like great studies in India, okay. because what come the way it came in Western countries, it did not came the same way in India. So I, uh, my project was focused on how uh, modernity came to India and how it impacted the, how it impacted the life of women in various spheres, like the personal sphere, family sphere, and uh, the community sphere. Yeah the political aspects and laws uh, relating to the, uh, the upliftment of them. Okay. So that was, uh, I mean, some kind of a research experience that probably yes. motivates, inspires uh, for PhD studies, I would say. Okay. Correct. All right. So good. Uh, so obviously you connected with us, then, then uh, mentorship starts. So how many, what examination you took uh, to get this admission? I took uh, an IELTS first of all, so I scored a score of seven point five. Okay. Over. How are you prepared for IELTS? I was provided notes from uh, you. Uh, okay. Let's do three, yeah. and I them and gave my IELTS. Seven point five is a, is, a, is a good band. I mean, in general, it's about seven. Yes, it's good. Okay. And what was your sub band score? Do you remember that? Uh, I do not exactly remember. I guess uh, <laughs> oh, I, but I can fine. check. I have them right here. That's okay. Do you remember when yes. you took IELTS? I I had my center in Chandigarh, uh, sector seventy. When you took the exam? I took my exam on twenty uh, seventh April, twenty twenty seven. And uh, the speaking exam, uh, this was the speaking exam, and the rest of the portion was on twenty fourth April, twenty twenty. Okay. Which year did you take the exam? 
So I guess I filled around 11 applications uh, fully and they were submitted, they were considered. So I got one admit from LSU and I was in talks like last month from Western Michigan University, but because uh, I had LSU and got an award from them. So I sleep. Yeah, Luciana State University is uh, that your yes. admit and you are awarded Roderick Carleton Fellowship, very prestigious right. fellowship that is gonna cover complete tuition and fees, okay? Right. Though you have to cover your living expenses because you're, anyways, you're allowed to 20 hours a week work there. You might be RA probably, working in a lab, yes. working in a campus, and uh, uh, it will not be an issue. Tell us about this uh, scholarship or fellowship. Uh, Roderick L. Carleton Fellowship. Uh, this is a fellowship. It is awarded yearly uh, to uh, the students of political science. Uh, and it was awarded by the Pink Lane Gordon Graduate School. And uh, it gives me uh, a fee waiver of tuition fee and uh, the resident fee. And it also gives me a $450 uh, stipend. But it is a one time stipend, but it does help. Yeah, so. Obviously. Once you reach there, you will have number of ample of opportunities yes, to I cover see. your living expenses. Key part remains tuition and waiver that you received through this yes. prestigious. Having a fellowship, like it's a big deal. Uh, once you graduate and you, you draft these things in your CV and looking for a job, it matters a lot. Yes, yes. So, what would I have is fellowship. Thank you, sir. <laughs> In this process, uh, admission process, uh, did you have any interview also or just like? No, I did not have any interviews. I just filled the application and just. And one day you received the offer and then the, the prestigious yes. fellowships about it. Very nice. Uh, this application process, uh, what is our role being mentored? Yes, so uh, from the start, uh, you started with the sorting out universities and you also gave me the questionnaires to fill so that uh, we can figure out how uh, things can go. Uh, then after uh, sorting out universities and uh, going to rounds uh, of them, then you helped me uh, prepare my application packet, which included the SOPs, uh, CV, and uh, other things. Uh, then uh, we also did, you also checked for my uh, research. Um, that is uh, the research paper, you also checked it. Yes. And after that, you helped me in filling the applications. If I had any doubts, you cleared it and uh, it was, after uh, filling that, even if I, the main thing is that you kept me motivated, even if the admits were not coming, that plays a huge role. Because in this process, this is a lengthy process. So mm, true. Patience, patience and motivation. Yes, right. Yes. 
So after that, you also guided me with the uh, after filling the applications and uh, getting the admit and talking to my professors about uh, finding financial aids and this skeletal emailing so, kind of <laughs> yes right so after that uh, i guess uh, visa application process guiding it and now currently i am we will, we will talk visa. about a visa later yes yes i understand i mean shortlisting university is very important right uh, I mean, right. where to hit hard with your profile is important representation or presentation like yourself uh, what cv it is and uh, the scientific statement of purpose some other essays is very important especially if you're looking for fellowships or, or assistance yes right. yeah. what role you think uh, sop plays for your applications i think it plays a huge role because it is a short version of what ha i have done in my life what i want to do in my career and I, why i want to be in the university be a part of that particular university for example luciana state <laughs> yes like uh, it all, uh, it also had mentions of why i want to study in this what are the professors that i want to study mm. under yes the other bits of uh, I motivated. call it I call it mini biography. Two pages. <laughs> yes, <laughs> it is. Dwara se baat baat badai. It's incredible achievement, I would say. I remember last year, uh, Neha M A Paul Science. Uh, she she went with complete tuition level. Yeah. Now you are going for a PhD program, even better. Okay. So uh, during this process, I mean. Uh, how much expenses uh, occur? You can also include our uh, mentorship till selection only. I think uh, it started with uh, the <clears throat> with your fees. Uh, that was around uh, one lakh in your rupees and GST. Then the IELTS fees, then GRE fees. IELTS fees was, I guess, uh, around fifteen thousand and. Same with the GRE fees, and apart from that, the uh, application fees for the various universities it amounted to around ninety thousand yes, <laughs> because it's, the it's a lot of I think you put I think close to fifteen applications. Yes, yes, yes right. I filled the application fee for the all the fourteen, mm -hmm. and uh, then I guess uh, visa application fee and. Uh, no, let's say let's separate our visa till selection okay, okay till selection so it was only i guess around uh, 2 to 2.5 lakhs 2. 5. that's that's the threshold yes. so who funded yes. this you yourself your parents <laughs> no my parents funded this i mean i realize i mean last through one year you've been very patient not many students are very patient just saying <laughs> Uh, okay, so now you have a selection, uh, and your selection came quite late. Do you remember that? Uh, yes. When did you receive your I twenty? Let me ask this. I received my I twenty in, I guess, late uh, in July only. In July, just, just been like few few days. On tenth, on tenth of uh, July. July, yes. So, and now you booked the. We help you through the uh, visa, visa booking process. I mean, visa application and then, I mean, DS-116 uh, visa applications. When you have your orientation? I have my orientation on 11th August, 2023. And when you received your uh, visa appointment for interview? Currently, I have received it for uh, 28th of July, that is the biometric appointment and the counselor appointment is on 9th of August. Yes. So we but, tried to reschedule it, right? Uh, emergency yes. visa. How you did that? Um, the expedited visa after filing the for the appointment, visa appointment that I currently have. Uh, you help me guide a writer uh, Mail to them. Then uh, we applied for uh, the expedited visa along with the and 
a request from my uh, advisor from the university. So, so they send out a letter kind of thing. Yes. So was an app on the portal. So what is the decision of U.S. Embassy at Delhi? Uh, I have just received uh, a little while ago. Just when we started, I have received the approval from this yes. site. So, so I it will be postponed. I think you will have your visa done yes, uh, right. within this month. Or so. July itself. Uh, yes, right. Uh, it has the last date for 22nd July, so I guess we can uh, schedule it before yeah, that. So, uh, we will help you through maybe yes. three to within three, three to four days, I would say. <laughs> yes, right. Yeah, very nice. So happy. Last uh, two classes. You have background your background, parents, uh, siblings, and all that. So, I have. Uh, a family of five, including me. And apart from me, I have my father, uh, Jasveer Pannu. He is uh, currently serving as a ba bank manager, branch manager in State Bank of India, Dhuri Punjab. And uh, my mother, Kavita Pannu, she is a homemaker. And uh, my sister, uh, she has just, uh, Ankita, she has just uh, graduated. She has done her MBBS. <laughs> Uh, yes. from Georgia University and my brother is uh, currently pursuing MBA from NMIMS Bangalore. Very nice. Good to know. Yes. So uh, let's talk about the emotions. I think that we asked this question. When you received this fellowship, how did you feel about it? <laughs> uh, when I received my uh, approval, like admit, I shouted like it was nighttime and I, was, I shouted like, oh, I got it. Got and it. everyone. But when I received my, uh, this award letter, so because earlier I was on to get a loan or yeah. uh, things goes. But when I came to know, I was really elated because yes. this is, getting a waiver of fees because mm, it a huge thing. is twice the living cost yes there. yeah fees is huge and living uh, cost is always manageable i mean you work there it's not yes, a right. yeah. it was a great and how uh, are like, your your family response <laughs> on it uh, because my uh, father is mostly in punjab and not living with us he just okay. came to he was not uh, practically, like, actually aware that uh, what I uh, received in this uh, award. He was, uh, after receiving that, I told my mother and she was happy and my family, uh, sister and brother was also happy. But my father was like, okay, uh, this is something and we still have to prepare for uh, more fun. But when he came home on uh, Saturday, uh, so I told him exactly and he was like, what? Uh, seriously? I was preparing for funds. I was getting worried, but this is <laughs> was so happy. He was smiling like brightly, and yes. uh, he uh, just talks about it like randomly sitting. Pata hai, main pehle dekh raha tha ki kahan se take karo kaise kar. For ek tum khushi ho gayi. Mujhe ye hai. You you make them happy. proud. It's a big deal, yes, right? It will sum up up to one crore just tuition waiver through the uh, the PhD program plus your living expenses. It also gives. So, what do you want to Let's let's say this. Uh, once you complete your PhD, what do you want to do? Currently, I am planning like after finishing my PhD, uh, I'll uh, try and uh, like I have plans of doing a post PhD further. Uh, alongside, I will be. Uh, getting my job as the assistant professor so and teaching you want to be in academics yes right because uh teaching is a lifelong process and teaching and learning come are simultaneous processes so i thought this is the best way it's just incredible achievement okay um, you are students and you are especially humanities or policies or Okay. Right. 
जो ड्रीम रखते हैं यूएस से फुल स्कॉलरशिप पीएचडी करने um cervical health <laughs> and apart okay. from that uh it is a myth that uh, funds come hote hain in this field ha stems mein zyada hote hain but it is also available in this mm-hmm. so pair positively and do not be uh, feeling like down or negative because uh, things are not going straight things work out like things worked out for me i mm-hmm. did not first a scholarship but then i scored a a award yes. so things do just be positive just positive yeah. positive have patience stay motivated yes right stay motivated <laughs> and kuch kehna chahenge hamare mentorship efforts ko leke um i was skeptical of uh, like uh, how will things go and what will happen but you help me guide through it worked with me through it so you have played a huge role because without you i would not have been able to uh, score this or go ahead so you have played a huge role and it is not only the hands like you are congratulating me but congrats to you too Thank for you. your efforts sure. whatever you did Yeah, mentorship, I think, plays critical role. Uh, I yes, don't deny that. बहुत बहुत बधाई है आपको, okay? And thank you, sir. Thank you. Or uh, we're looking forward for your uh, visa appointment. इसको मैं यहाँ पे cut करूँगा and we'll continue. Okay. Uh, recording बंद करता हूँ. Then I will have कैसे आपको आगे बढ़ना है इसमें, okay?